My name is Mouse Prozen. I live in Denton, Texas, and I'm a United States Marine Corps disabled veteran. And as of two Septembers ago, I've had my 18th major operation at the VA hospital. And I had just bought a brand new 2006 GT Mustang, five speed screaming yellow. And I started fixing up the car because I needed something to keep my mind off everything that was going on. And I bought the car brand new and I had it about a year and a half and I started getting pretty heavy into customizing it. And uh, I went into the hospital to have my right shoulder totally reconstructed and um, got it done. And about a month later, I decided I needed to leave the house and go to a car show. So I backed the car out, got halfway to the car show, and I blacked out. And I drove off the highway at about 55 miles an hour. And I hit an oak tree probably about five feet in diameter backwards. And I hit it so hard that I actually shoved the trunk up behind the driver's seat. And I was turned cockeyed like this up against the steering wheel. And a little girl's knocking on my window. And she's saying, Mr. Mr. Are you okay? And I said, uh, why, are you, why are you hitting my car? And she said, you were in an accident. And I said, well, what happened? She said, I think you hit a tree. And I, she said, how are you? And I said, well, how's my car? And she said, well, how are you? And I said, how's my car? And she said, it's not good. And I started crying. And she started, she called 911 and the police came and they opened the, the door and put the neck brace and everything on me. And they uh, took me back to the back of my car on the stretcher to look at the car. And it was just totally destroyed. And um, Anyway, the uh, police opened up the hood and they saw the motor and they said, oh, we're not touching this. So a friend of mine uh, brought his record down and they got the car and they took it and he took me to the hospital. And um, I got released uh, two days later and uh, I called the Ford dealer and Ford only built 5,000 of the Screaming Yellow Mustangs in 06 and they couldn't find one. And I said, well, until I find another Screaming Yellow one, I don't, I don't want to build another car. Well, it took them about a month and a half, and they found the last one, five-speed, in Atlanta, Texas. And they went and they picked it up, and they brought it to me. And you, uh, you, you have some pictures of her on your phone? I, I've got lots of pictures can, of her. Can we yes, try and get those? Sure can. This is the new car that I have now, Safira. When I bought her, she was just bone stock. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is the front end. Wow. That's the back. Uh -huh. The side. Yeah. The motor. Yeah. Motor again. Yeah. The interior. That's me working on the motor with my left arm because I couldn't use my right. How did you did the whole thing with one arm? Well, I did a lot of it with one arm. Yeah, I'm a pretty determined kind of guy. How do you hold things when you need to like? Um, I have help. Do a I, 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 I had help. Yeah. And little by little, I started fixing it up and um, in and out of the VA hospital. And now she is the first um, non-Shelby to have ever won the Shelby Nationals at the wow. Mid-Americas in Tulsa. Wow. And um, I drive her every day. I drove her all the way from Dallas. It was a 17-hour drive with my wife. She's got 720 horsepower to the rear wheels. Um, she's been in five magazines. It's got all of Scott Drake's awesome suspension on it, <laughs> and uh, which I absolutely love. I just put it on before the trip. I built the car because I was going stir crazy. Um, yeah. I'm not proud to say this, but I was, I was close to I was close to committing suicide, oh my God. and um, I was I was in so much pain from the surgeries and my mental part, and and bef between the what happened to me in the accident, and I lost my mom. My mom was murdered in '91. She was 56. So it's just it was a lot of stress on me, and I um, I've never been a drinker. I've never drank. I've never done any kind of drugs in my life. I don't smoke, yeah. and um, God's kind of. You know, God steered me in a direction that's something I've always loved. I've started riding mini bikes when I was five, and I built lots of custom stuff. And um, I've been a Ford owner since I was 14 years old, and the Mustang is my favorite car in the world. And um, the 68 KR is my dream car. That's the first year that the Screaming Yellow came out. So I was uh, when it came out in 2006, I said, this has got to be it, because I don't know if I could ever afford a KR 500, but I've got one that's kind of neat. So she's a great car for a driver. Hey man, thank you for your service. Oh, you're more than welcome. It's uh, it's an honor to serve this country. Um, I love this country. I'd go back today if they called me. My wife spent six years in the Navy. Uh, my daughter wow. actually came here on leave from the Navy. She's been in the Navy for five years. She has, we have three grandkids through her. My oldest son spent six years in the Army, and my middle son spent four years in the Navy. So uh, we, love, we love this country. We're proud to be Americans. I'm an Italian-American immigrant, and... Um, I'm, I'm glad to be I'm, here. I'm third generation. So are you? That's yeah. outstanding. My family came from Sicily. I'm from uh, Na Naples. Oh, you're from Naples? That's yeah. outstanding. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and uh, Mouse is really my first name. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. So, uh, 
Yeah. All right, man. Well, hey, thank you very well, much. Well, you're more than welcome. Yeah, more than welcome. it's great. That, uh, wonderful story. Thanks a lot. Thank you.